morning, it is Monday, it's just before 9 o'clock and I'm waiting for Charlie to get here. Um, so this weekend was really good, obviously I was at Kerry's Manor still on Saturday and then Sunday I did the farmer's market in Romsey. That was really manic and there was loads of wasps and I got stung twice, it was really fun because they just want cinnamon buns. And then I went for a run with my pal Darren and some of the guys from Apple. Then I came home and had a flipping amazing dinner. So yeah, ready to start the week. Charlie should be here now. I feel like I can hear her outside. I can see her. Uh, Charlie's here and um, she's got some orders to pack. Uh, first thing, a couple of emails to respond to to customers. And uh, I am going to get on with all the other million things that are on my to-do list. What's going on out here? Are you doing something you shouldn't be? Postman has just delivered two things. Finally, a mount for my phone. I've had my 6S Plus for like a year and a half now, and I've already smashed the screen. But yeah, I didn't even have a mount for it in the car, so I just used to like throw it on the passenger seat and hope it didn't fall on the floor when I was trying to look at directions. And this is, get it out, ball head. Mount for my, I can't see, box was easy, in a packaging, not so easy. It's um, a mount for my new, um, it comes with a fitting that big. Now I can use my new tripod. This one was from Amazon and I think it cost me £20. Charlotte thinks I'm a loser but I think this is a life hack. Look, you can use a sucky car mount as like a... You cool. literally have a stand there with a charger on there. Yeah, I have this, but this, you know, this was like £40 from Apple. And this was like £8 from Amazon. And look, I can bend it, I can charge my phone whilst it's on it, I can be on my computer and then tappy tap in. This is great, maybe it'll never even make it to the car. Ta-da! It weighs an absolute ton with the, the ball head and this tripod. All of these guys being ordered over the weekend. Charlotte's going to send them out first. So when I was at Carey's Manor, I totally snaffled a box of All Bran, which is super lame. But um, when we were little, my um, or our grandpa used to have this like every morning. And I used to like ask him to make me a little bowl of it and call it Grandpa's Sticks because they look like little twigs. <laughs> so just for nostalgia's sake. I thought I'd snaffle a box of grandpa's sticks just so I can eat them at my desk. That nice. Want some more? My hair is a mess. It is actually really cold today. I think I'm gonna put a jumper on. But anyway, we're gonna get some lunch and then after that, I'm gonna go to Ikea. Yum. Charlotte finished uploading the vlog. I have done the thumbnail um, using Photoshop and on my iPad. So that's all ready to go, scheduled for tonight. Yes, um, and Charlotte's on all of my accounts. So we're up to date with that as well. And we are off to Ikea now because there's a few things I need. Jack smashed our full length mirror. Okay, Jack didn't. Jack didn't smash it at all. <laughs> it smashed. <laughs> I'm so quick to lay blame. <laughs> The mirror smashed whilst Jack was here and I was at the spa because apparently all the windows were open upstairs and there was like a huge gust of wind and it slammed the bathroom door and the mirror simultaneously fell over in our bedroom and smashed. So uh, obviously he jumped to the conclusion, as I would, that Luna had done it, but then he realised that Luna was actually sat next to him on the sofa, so. Oh my God, Ikea have alocasia. This is an exciting day. Definitely gonna get one. This one looks pretty healthy at the mo. See if we can keep them alive. Overheard an Ikea, just past a man who said, was it? Um, said to his wife, it feels like having your soul sucked away. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it does, especially during the summer holidays, and especially when they don't have the plant pots you want. bought these two carnivorous pitcher plants 
from Ikea and I've just been really gross because I read before I bought them online that you're supposed to like feed them dead flies and stuff so I definitely just raided all the windowsills for dead blue bottles and found several and stuck them in oh you can see one in there look ew uh, so hopefully it likes those um we'll see how these get on we are on our way to Sainsbury's because that's the kind of exciting people we are just Bring the tone down. Yeah. Like peanuts, limes, and crayon. And you like crayon sometimes? Sausages. <laughs> I love corn sausages. Corn sausages yeah, they're my guilty pleasure, and also they're not that bad for you. And they're not actual sausage, so it's fine. Happening. So these guys are all in our front garden. They're very pretty. I'm assuming they're poisonous. But, you know, if they're not, and somebody definitely knows that, let me know. Probably gonna wash my hands now though. Look at this peanut sauce. How good does that look? It tastes amazing. Definitely already had some straight off the whisk because I'm hygienic like that. Also got Thai quinoa meatballs in there and roasty aubergine on the top. Back from kickboxing. It was actually really good tonight. Yeah, we basically rotated round today, so it was nice. And there was just a little group of us and we did lots of circuits and lots of kickboxing, but he made us do it barefoot for the first time today. So I've got the reddest feet <laughs> from whacking the pads. Um, but anyway, it was good. Jack's making dinner. Look at these. They're all like quinoa meatballs as they were, dusted with peanuts, oh my god, roasted aubergine, and look at that, so slaw from yesterday, special peanut sauce, quinoa meatballs, and salad, mmm. <laughs> The weather is miserable again today. Stop. It's like practically mid August. Why? Anyway, it is Tuesday. Jack's working from home today. He's downstairs in the dining room. Uh, and I have finally made it to my studio at 10 o'clock. And I've basically got to sit down today, um, work on some new products. I'm going to try and hash out a Christmas. Kind of plan really um hopefully some new products to go with it um that i'll share with you when i can um but basically i've got the whole of september is kind of a no-go in terms of like really getting stuck in with designing and ordering because the wedding is at the end of september and we've got about a million things um coming up before that and then october we're pretty much in Japan for the whole of it. Um, I'm really lucky that Maid of Honor and Bezzy Pal Gemma is gonna be, fingers crossed, living here for the whole time that I'm away. And I think Charlotte will be taking all of this <laughs> stock, or a lot of it, up to Manchester with her at university, and she'll be kind of doing the order fulfillment side because over the summer she's learned really, really quickly and really well how the business runs and how to do all the kind of system-based stuff. So I'm hoping that that will go fairly smoothly. Uh, but yeah, those two months I'm kind of gonna be out of action. So it makes sense for me to get everything done now. And as kind of marketing and design timelines go, August is actually kind of late to be thinking about Christmas products. <laughs> I should have got them done in like June to be talking about them in July. Uh, but I'm not very good at sticking to schedules. So fingers crossed I can get some stuff done now and get it sorted and then I won't be panicking when it comes to the end of October and Christmas orders have started and I've just got back from my honeymoon. <laughs> Also, as it's so freezing cold today, I've got my little tea at my desk and I'm gonna light my new candle I showed you guys a couple of weeks ago that I'm terrible for like not actually ever lighting candles because they smell so good and I don't want to use them up, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Um, so I'm actually gonna light this guy, um, banana pancakes. Also mega exciting news that uh, I forgot to share with you guys yesterday uh, is two of these things that I bought from Ikea that will make posting and sorting the post so much easier. On one of the, um, I think it was maybe the not on the high street like 
group that I'm in on Facebook, someone shared these that they bought from Ikea that fold up super easy with this little handle and you can pop them away in the cupboard when you're done. But basically, yeah, they're laundry bags. I think they were £2.50 um, each, which is a bargain and it means that I can sort out like UK and international shipping whilst I'm packing orders up really, really easily and then, uh, yeah, not have everything in the big jumble. So, I'm gonna start now. These three are all UK, so that one can be UK. little sausage. What are you doing up there? Hey. Um, so I was going to hole punch these and then cable tie them like around here but then I remembered that I have a tagging gun so I'm gonna attempt to tag them onto here. Okay so that was uh disgustingly satisfying they went through super easily and yeah it looks pretty good it is so dark today it feels like night time look at my desk what is going on this weather needs to stop anyway i have got my watering can filled with water from the water butt because it's topping itself up at the moment and it's always totally full so I thought I'd make use of it um, and these guys need some water so I'm gonna do a little round of watering I'll be honest this is my second can because I've just done downstairs um, most of the plants so that took seven litres of water and now <laughs> I'm gonna water the guys upstairs too okay so here's a top tip I learnt from Liz at Osmology um, and I've kind of heard before, but never actually done because I'm stupid. But um, apparently with candles, especially big ones like this and ones with multiple wicks, the best way to make sure they burn efficiently and evenly so you don't get like great big dips in the middle and then loads of wasted wax where it's just not burning around the outside is to make sure that you let the pool of wax completely melt over the whole surface of the candle before you blow them out. That's probably been burning for like three hours maybe. Jack's just delivered me a desk lunch. Look at this. So it's the Thai quinoa um, meatballs from last night, uh, grilled aubergine, salad with nuts and some of the peanut sauce and the lime soaked onion that we made for the barbecue jackfruit so i think we had that on sunday so i don't know if i vlogged that but either way it is an amazing recipe and these are really tasty and it makes them really like nice and less oniony so i'm gonna get stuck in okay so i finished my kind of worky to-do list today which was really boring and decided to do a little bit of wedmin yeah tomorrow is an actual dedicated mostly wedmin day charlotte is coming down um, and we're just gonna do lots of kind of the diy side of stuff i need to do but i thought i'd get a head start on some of the stuff that people can't help me with because it involves my handwriting so i've just done this and i didn't want to film it as i was doing it because i figured i'd probably screw it up um and then i'd just be really annoyed and angry but actually it came out okay so here it is basically used posca pens my fave um and i've done this hand lettering on um this box that I bought from eBay, which is a card box with a slit here. Um, it has a little key in the bottom there and a lock. Um, so it will go on the card table at our wedding and hopefully people can just post their cards to the top. I'm thinking about adding some little uh, constellations to this so it matches in with the theme and with our other signs. It is. Shocking. I really saw then weather right now. At least it stopped raining for one second. I just saw the snail. Oh dear. Um, but anyway, I am off to the gym, of course, because it's Tuesday, which means legs, bums, and tums. Come over. That's nice. It's 
so that was the killer legs, bums and tums class. I've got jelly legs now. There's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of squats and mighty squats and all sorts of squats. So now I'm gonna go home, have some dinner, and then Els, my friend from Apple, is coming over this evening. Um, and we are going to train to look from that guy. Um, we are going to chat weddings because she's getting married in two weeks and obviously I'm getting married soon after that and we are going to hopefully, um, she's staying over so we're going to go to the wood recycling centre tomorrow and um, get some wood to do some DIY signs and stuff which should be really fun Making, ooh so steamy Quick veg rainbow stir fry uh, to use up um, some veg the last of the quinoa uh, for a bit of protein and I think we're going to throw in the rest of the peanut sauce uh, and call that a dinner. Good morning, it is Wednesday, it's Wednesday right? I think it's a Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I'm joined by Els, Hello. my pal, and we have just arrived at Southampton Wood Recycling Centre because we are going to delve through their bins of offcuts and hopefully find some bits of wood for our Weddings, Collective respective weddings. weddings. Elsa's getting married in two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, two weeks now. Two weeks, and I'm getting married in six. So we've got to get our sign painting on. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, show you all of the joys that the warehouse here has to offer. Elsa's found some wood. <laughs> found some wood. <laughs> like a kid in a sweet shop oh, in here. <laughs> Scurrying around. I'm just in a tub here, diving around, found some good bits. <laughs> oh hey! Hi! <laughs> we have made it to the second Reclamation place of the morning. Um, this is somewhere I've never been before and I've really wanted to come for ages. It's Romsey Reclamation. We're surrounded by horses uh, and wrought iron gates and all sorts of things. Um, and strange carved heads. Am I even pointing the camera in the right way? Yes. Uh, but we're both really excited to see what crap we can sneak home that Miles and Jack <laughs> will be we'll just wholly speechless see. actually, yeah. <laughs> I always thought we'd found a tombstone. <laughs> like, oh God. But I think it's not, it's like a commemorative one. Bricks and railway sleepers as far as the eye can see. And also we've uh, Only we would we're... still be excited at this point in the pouring rain surrounded by bricks. <laughs> rain <laughs> macked up. Special friends to be this with us. Yeah. <laughs> are now in the center of Romsey. Elsa's has never been and it's really really Hello. pretty um, but we're gonna head here to Dish Deli for a little hot drink and a chill out before we head back to Southampton. That carrot cake was pretty good pretty good delicious really good uh, and we've just popped to Waitrose uh, because you have to spend five pounds to get free parking. Needless to say, we both spent more than five pounds <laughs> because that's how they get you. So Charlie's here again. Luna's stamping on everything. Um, uh, we're going to have a Wedman day, like I said. So just kind of getting stuff together, really. I've got all these um, honeycomb paper garlands um, that my friend Kate and I are going to add tassels to. And then I've got these ones, which were in the paper chase sale which already have pretty tassels on them. So I went, I think got five of those. This is just some of the bits, but I've got various things from Tiger um, that I'm gonna use as photo booth props. And I'm also gonna make some, uh, and then all of this ribbon um, because we've been making, I mean, at this angle, it doesn't look great, but um, it's like bunting basically, but just tied ribbons and it will kind of hang everywhere and look, really pretty I think but yeah it's gonna look like this and there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters of it so it should look really pretty just got back from Tony and Guy having had a toner put on my hair because it had gone kind of like brassy ish quite like orangey at the bottoms where the kind of I guess the dye had faded and it had gone back to the, like the bleached color but um yeah now it's more 
caramelly again. Momo is being the cutest. Look. He just looks like a cloud. Just like a little oh, puff. Like so you don't know where his legs or his tail <laughs> are. Just his facial features. Just a little face on a like pom pom. <laughs> <laughs> Did a box with Gemma, it was really good. And Jack and Charlie are here. And Jack has made vegan barbacoa again, um, which looks amaze. Well, the pengest, yeah. apparently, is how you say it. I said the most peng, and that is not cool, apparently. Such an old lady. Morning. So it is. Thursday. Uh, Charlie is still here from Wedmond Day yesterday, but uh, we're going to do work work today. So, um, orders to pack, as usual. Um, I have got some products to order and this studio yet again to tidy. <laughs> Four. Um, Charlie is just putting the orders through um, the OBA system so we can just drop them at the post office and I've literally been doing Wedman all day so sorry for the filming light day but I kind of want to show you guys sneak peeks of stuff I'm doing along the way but I also don't want to ruin all of the surprises that I kind of have planned for the actual guests at the wedding but I can show you um, the a little bit of the thing that I'm working on now and that's this. I've been using my iPad with Photoshop and and my Apple Pencil um, to make this, which is going to be, um, this is just like an A4 page here, and then these are going to be cut out um, it, on some cool like metallic or holographic card, um, and then I'm going to use them as part of a really cool backdrop uh, that will go behind the cake for the cake table. So that should be really cool, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's a little bit more than just these letters, but I kind of don't want to ruin all of the stuff I've been doing, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, it's half past six, and as per usual, I'm running late, so I have to go to the gym. It's step and tone tonight. And then Jack's out seeing his pal Chris, so I'll have to make myself some dinner. What is that about? Um, anyway, yeah, got to go. Going to go step and tone. Going to go? Gonna go to Step and Tone and then call it a day because tomorrow I am going to Bristol to meet my pal Lizzie and have a day of fun and I can't wait to show you that because that's definitely gonna be infinitely more fun than watching me sat in my studio doing Wedmin. So yeah, I will see you in the morning. I am here to meet um, my pal Lizzie uh, and we're gonna have a little day of adventures so I think she's waiting for me outside so I'm gonna scurry off now and uh, I'll take you with me. looking proper scraggly, Jesus Christ, <laughs> can't take me anywhere. Uh, I'm with Lizzie and we are... We're in Southville right now. Yes, and we are on our way to Stokes Croft. Yes. We're on our way to Stokes Croft lunch. for some lunch at Where's the Play? I think you say it's Sarah's but I'm not Sarah's. sure. <laughs> and there's loads of ask when we get there. super cute colourful houses everywhere it's really sweet much more exciting than southampton which is a mass of concrete and bricks no one's painted the house's cool pastel colors uh so yeah spot of lunch we've just been in some really cool little shops there's a okay i'm gonna try and show you this magnificent beard but i don't know if i can without looking really straight <laughs> that is 
impressive. <laughs> Wowza. Anyway, yeah, off for some lunch. I'm going to try not to trip into the road whilst trying to look at a camera and navigate an uneven pavement. So, yeah, in a bit. This is like a little holiday home you can stay in. Looks super cool. In a crane. Good lunch at Sarah's. We're gonna call it. We think it's Sarah's. Um, it was very really nice. And then we got free those little pancakes I showed you with Morello cherries. Oh my god, they were really good. And uh, yeah, I think we got them free because basically the guy that owns it fancies Lizzie because <laughs> he uh, has previously slid into her DMs. Oh. And uh, yeah. And I ignored it. Well, ignored because taken. So, yeah. how do you politely respond? It was it was a super awkward message I've seen. <laughs> uh, but the free pancakes were really good. Uh, yeah, were. And now it's got really chilly, which is less good, less good than free pancakes. Summer. Boo. What's it like, August? So yeah, where are we going now? We're going, we're going to go to Christmas Steps to the yes. shop. Yeah, the we're going to pop in and see Liz at Osmology and have a little look at the Christmas steps because I've never been and then head up to Clifton. Yeah. Yeah, basically a whistle stop tour that was a bit of rain. Uh, no! Yeah, a whistle stop tour of uh, Bristol, including that Tesco Express right there. Mm. Yep. All the sights. And another student. And more student accommodation. <laughs> lovely serenaded us we're in Clifton which is horrible yeah terrible it's like a squat it is the most fancy pants in the whole world ever like <laughs> all the houses have like six floors just a casual six floor house and uh, yeah it's really really beaut so Lizzie's just checking Twitter to see if the balloon fiesta is a uh, well, they're gonna fly. if they're, they're taking their mass flight ascent. the mass ascent this evening <laughs> which we were really excited for but now as you can see it's really overcast. Um, oh, is it a yes? No. No. It says due to adverse weather conditions, there will not be a mass ascent tonight. Oh, that's the saddest thing. Mm. No balloons for me. None. Lizzie saw them this morning. She did. And I saw on Harriet's Instagram that she was here yesterday and saw the night glow last night. So it's just me that's missing out. Yeah. They obviously hate me. Uh, anyway, we are going to go. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Because the, the balloon ascent was like the thing for the af late afternoon, early eve. We're going to go eat burgers at some, at some point. Soon. Probably soon, right? Go get a drink or a coffee. Or the world's our oyster now. Yeah. So many options. So many options. <laughs> Bristol is really flipping cool, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I live in Southampton because <laughs> it is a dull and shallow void compared to uh, this awesome place. Uh, but as we discovered earlier, could never afford a house here, so maybe that's why I'm sticking in Southampton. Maybe I'll save up for a retirement home here. Yeah? Maybe that'll be it. You will literally need your entire life to save. Yeah. So. I'll save every penny for my whole life to live here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop talking to the camera because there's quite a lot of people in this park and everyone's giving me a strange look, as usual. <laughs> Story of my life. I call this one Lizzie, 
with nice matching house to outfit. <laughs> So massive, massive, massive thank you Lizzie for showing me around, it's amazing and I definitely just want to live there now. Um, but that's all for me from this week, so I will see you next week with another vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did please don't forget to hit subscribe, leave a nice comment if you fancy, or hit like. But yeah, that's all from me, see you soon, bye!